Hello students and welcome. Today I am going to start class 12th geography multiple choice question and some short question along with it. This is the first uh, part and it will not have any other further part. It is a small chapter and the chapter which we are starting with is, is from the part A of the course content that is fundamentals of human geography. It's a unit one is human geography, nature and scope, which we have not done. This is unit two, which is people, population, distribution, density and growth, population change, spatial pattern. And we will cover all these in this. This is your chapter number one, which is population, distribution, density, growth and composition. We'll try to uh, learn this chapter and understand the content of this chapter through multiple choice questions. So let's quickly begin. So the first question is, which urban areas attract large number of rural urban migrants due to industrial development and urbanization? Options are Delhi and Mumbai, Jaipur, Ahmedabad, Kolkata, Bangalore and Pune or all of the above. So students answer for this is Delhi, Mumbai, Jaipur, Ahmedabad, Kolkata, Bangalore, Pune. All of these cities attract large number of rural urban migrants. So answer is all of the above. or we will refer the book also, book mein likha hua hai. On the other hand, the urban regions of Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Bangalore, Pune, Ahmedabad, Chennai and Jaipur have high concentration of population due to industrial development and urbanization drawing a large number of real rural urban migrants. So you may also get a question, why does Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata attract large number of rural urban, urban migrants. So you will have to answer because of industrial development and urbanization, these migrants are attracted. So this is, uh, and the, the, if you see here, there's everything is distribution of population is mentioned where it is more populated. So everything is mentioned in your book. Which states have become areas of high concentration due to availability of mineral and energy resources and development of irrigation and development of transport network. Options are Peninsular State, Jharkhand, Rajasthan or all of the above. Hum book mein padte hai. So students, we will refer the book. It is mentioned uh, how the population is uh, spread across. It says, we observe that the North Indian plains, deltas and coastal plains have higher proportion of population than the interior districts of southern and Indian states. Himalayas, some of the northern, eastern and western states. However, development of irrigation, Rajasthan has written in the that means because of irrigation development, population is high. Availability of mineral and energy resources is Jharkhand and development of transport and network peninsular states have resulted in moderate to high concentration of population in areas which were previously very thin populated. So we know Jharkhand, peninsular states and Rajasthan, three states are there which has resulted in higher population because of mineral energy resources for Jhark Jharkhand, development of transport network in peninsular states and because of development of education in Rajasthan. So here uh, we have all these three states mentioned. I will just remind you, if a question comes, tell the name of the state which has resulted in high concentration due to availability of mineral and energy resources. The answer is Jharkhand. Due to development of irrigation, answer is Rajasthan. Development of transport network, it is peninsular state. For this, because all three are mentioned, it will be all of the above. Next question is, which state of India is has the highest population density. Aapke was options are Bihar, Tamil Nadu, Assam and Mizoram. So students say dhyan rakhna, agar aapke was MCQ aata hai, which states, four states, aapko dhyan rakhna padega, ascending and descending order mein sabse zala koon si populated density wali hai. And answer for this is Bihar, because Bihar among these four is the highest populated. And if we refer the book, it is mentioned here, distribution of population is the topic. So it says, 
it is clear that india has a highly uneven pattern of population distribution the percentage shares of population of the states and unit territories in country show that uttar pradesh has the highest population so agar aapke pas question aata tell the name of the state which has the highest population the answer is uttar pradesh second is maharashtra third is bihar and fourth is west bengal so we have uttar pradesh maharashtra bihar and west bengal Let's see the figure one point one. ये देखेंगे आप ये जो dots हैं one dot is equal to two lakh person. So आप देखिए एक dot का मतलब दो लाख आदमी यहाँ पे बैठे हुए हैं. So you can see you can see ये concentrated है. This is UP. अगर हम जाएंगे पास this is the highest density. So Now you know the answer. Highest is Uttar Pradesh, followed by Maharashtra, Bihar, and West Bengal. Next question is: How many scheduled languages are there in our constitution? Twenty-three, twenty-one, twenty-two, or twenty? Students, answer for this is twenty-two. We will read the book to see if we can see for some short question also. So, if we read the book, it says linguistic composition. India is a land of linguistic diversity, according to Grierson, Linguistic Survey of India, 1903 to 1928. There were 179 languages and as many as 544 dialects in the country. So, ची हमारी country में 100 almost 180 languages हैं और उसके 544 अलग अलग versions हैं. In the context of modern India. There are about 22 scheduled languages and a number of non-scheduled languages. So scheduled languages होती हैं जो हमारे constitution में लिखी हुई होती हैं. यहाँ पे उन्होंने लिखा हुआ है एक और activity है. See how many languages appear on a rupees ten note. तो अगर आप note देखेंगे, तो आपको दिखेगा उसके अंदर कितनी languages लिखी हुई हैं. Assam special distribution of population in India establishes a close relationship between which factors in the country? Economic and historical factors, of population and geographical factors, social factors, or all of the above. So students, who Assam ka jo special distribution hai population ka, it establish a close relationship between economic and historical factors. When was the first complete census of India held? 1881, 1882, 1880, or 1883? Yaad rakhna students, it's 1881. If you refer the book, it says population data are collected through census operation held every ten years in our country. The first population census in India was conducted in 1872, but its first complete census census was conducted only in 1881. So, आपको याद रखना है 1881 में पहला complete census हुआ था. So, the next question is: How many stages or phases of population growth are there? One, two, three, or four? And answer for this is: There are four phases of population growth. We will refer the book also. In this, uh, if you see, it is mentioned very clearly that there are four phases of population. So, we will read how it is written. So the growth rate of population in India over the last one century has been caused by annual birth rate and death rate and rate of migration and thereby shows different trends there are four distinct phases of growth identified within this period aur ye char jo phases hain iske bare mein detail mein likha hua hai the first phase is the period from 1901 to 1921 phase 2 is 1921 to 1951 Phase three is 1951 to 1981, and the phase four is 1981 till present. The next question is: the first census of India was held in which year? 1891, 1885, 1872, or 1881? So, students, when I have told you, this is a tricky question. First complete census was held in 1881, but first census was in 1872. Which state of India has the highest population? That's very easy. Punjab, UP, Kerala, or Bihar. We know it's the UP which has the highest population. Which state has the lowest literacy rate? 
झारखंड बिहार राजस्थान और ओडिशा आंसर इज बिहार स्टेट हैज द लोएस्ट लिटरेसी रेट विच स्टेट हैज लोएस्ट सेक्स रेशियो झारखंड हरियाणा बिहार और पंजाब एंड स्टूडेंट्स आंसर फॉर दिस इज हरियाणा इज अ स्टेट विच हैज लोएस्ट सेक्स रेशियो दैट इज सेक्स रेशियो का मतलब होता है नंबर ऑफ फीमेल्स पर मेल्स सो हर एक हजार मेल्स के अगेंस्ट कितनी फीमेल्स कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग उस पॉपुलेशन पे है सो दैट इज द सेक्स रेशियो एंड हरियाणा हैज अ लोएस्ट सेक्स रेशियो इन अवर कंट्री हाउ मेनी इयर्स आफ्टर द पॉपुलेशन सेंसस इज कलेक्टेड नाइन इयर्स थ्री इयर्स फाइव इयर्स और एवरी टेन इयर्स तो ये हमने पहले ही पढ़ा था द सेंसस इज कलेक्टेड एवरी टेन ईयर्स Which state has the highest percentage of rural population? Sikkim, Himachal Pradesh, Bihar, or UP? And students, answer for this is Himachal Pradesh. And I will uh, tell you how we have got to this conclusion. Students, all the information related to percentage of population, sex ratio, and everything is mentioned in the appendix in the book. So make sure you refer to that uh, appendix. This is in the books also. If you see in appendix three, it's Rural and urban population, which is last updated by 2011, it says Himachal Pradesh has only 10 percent of urban population. That means 90 percent of population is rural population. That is why highest percentage of population is in Himachal Pradesh or rural. A worker is a known as main worker who works at least 185 days, more than 183 days. 200 days or less than 183 days and the students answer for this is a worker is known as main worker who works at least more than 183 days hum book pe bhi refer karenge it says in standard census definition main worker is a person who works for at least 183 days or actually 6 months in a year marginal worker is a person who works for less than 183 days or 6 months in a year Which areas have a higher population ratio in deltas, in the coastal plains, in the plains of northern India, or all of the above? And students, answer for this is all of the above, and we will refer the book also. So we see in the book it is uh, it is mentioned here, such as even spatial distribution of population in India suggests a close relationship between population and physical, socio-economic, and historical factors. As far as the physical factors are concerned it is clear that climate along with terrain and availability of water largely determines the pattern yani ki jahan pe pahad honge wahan pe kam population hogi jahan pe plains honge wahan pe zyada population hogi jahan pe pani aasani se milega wahan pe population zyada hogi to ye sab pattern physical hote hain consequently we observe that the north indian plains deltas and coastal plains have higher proportion of population than the interior districts of southern and central indian states himalayas some of the northern indian state and western states to ye pahadon pe zyada log nahi rahenge jahan pe pani aaram se milega kheti baadi aaram se hogi wahi pe population zyada hoti hai the population of india is more than the total population including which countries australia northern america and south america or all of the above so surin jo population hai india ki it is actually more than total population of all of these countries so it's all of the above and students this brings to the last multiple choice question and short answer for you i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please do like subscribe and share my channel it keeps me motivated and if i get likes and comments i would start publishing videos for all the other chapters for the current syllabus very soon so the last question is which of the important factors are socio economic and historical factors for population distribution origin and development of local agriculture yes that is a economic factor development of transport network again it is a economic factor industrialization and renovation again it's a economic factor so all of these factors are socio economic and historical factors of population distribution thank you students for watching this video i wish you all the success and good luck for your life and exam keep keep watching and keep sharing this video thank you